So one of the more unusual ingredients that we use a lot of here um, is squirrel and we have an awful lot of wild squirrels here. They are the greys, we have never touch a red um, and one of the main reasons we are using the grey squirrel is because they are impinging and our native reds are really suffering. It's fantastic meat, it's super lean and they taste absolutely delicious so just with a little bit of work you get an absolutely delicious treat. Today's dish is going to be an Elevenses dish for our local shoot. What we would tend to do is take the whole squirrel, marinate it for two hours in some Madeira and some masala, salt and pepper and thyme. And we put that all into a bag or a bowl, cover it with cling film, and from one squirrel you'll probably get three to four decent sized proper big pasties. We take off the legs because I'll be using those in the restaurant for a starter. This now is what we'll be using for our pasties. So we've got our three squirrels, they've been marinated for two hours. We take them out of the marinade, so we'll put them in a colander and strain all of the marinade off. We don't need that, but we can use it later in the sauce. The squirrels themselves now, the remaining portion, so the shoulder, the saddle and the rear, but not the legs, which we've saved for a different dish, they go into the vacuum bags. They go in at 75 degrees for 12 hours and we then remove them from the water bath. We empty the bag into a colander and we then pick the meat off the carcasses. Um, the juices that have come out of the squirrel that then go through the colander into the bowl it sits in are also saved. Obviously, we don't have 12 hours in this demonstration to show you exactly how uh, the squirrel's going to be, but we would automatically take our squirrel out of here. Uh, we have a water bath. What you could alternatively do is do this at home in a casserole or in the bottom of your agar and just leave it for another three or four hours on about gas mark. A quarter would do it to be honest. Um, leave that for two and a half to three hours. Um, make sure you cover the squirrel with liquid, carrots, onions and celery in the bottom of the pan uh, and you'll have exactly the same result. I have for the purpose of this got a finished base filling for the pasty. It was bound with a sauce, which I'll now get on to showing you how it's done. Right. So, okay, so for the sauce, and we need a base sauce, and we need something that's going to hold all of the meat together. So what we want is quite a thick, almost like a paste. Our ingredients are simple enough. I have my flour, I have my butter, squirrel stock, and at this time of year, and this is the only time we really use squirrel, is the shooting season for our 11s. Is we have these lovely Girolles. We're getting to the end of the season now, and as you can see, they're really quite large. Um, so this would not work so well in a pasty. So what we'll try and do is just tear them and give ourselves some nice little bite-sized pieces. Small knob of butter. I'd say about 50 grams here. And so our flour. I'm going to use a spatula. So we'll slowly start melting it. I don't want it to get too much colour. I don't want to have a burnt taste. The flavour is about the squirrel and about the Girolles. The two work fantastically well together, but we don't want burnt butter because it spoils it. I'm now going to put the Girolles in the pan. If you can't get hold of Girolles, you can use any mushrooms. Um, supermarkets now do fantastic uh, wild mushroom selections. I wouldn't go for anything too strong. A chestnut mushroom would be fantastic. Uh, or a portobello, a nice brown mushroom, just cut very thinly. So try and get a little bit of colour on those. We only want them lightly softened, we don't want to go all the way with this. They're going to cook in the oven for another 25-30 minutes later. So the idea is just to get the flavours released. Once you start smelling the mushroom cooking, you, you know you're on to a winner. A little bit of seasoning now. If for instance you like a strong flavour, you could add a little bit more pepper to the mix or if you like, particularly like a herb like thyme for instance again add a little bit more to your mix we keep it quite plain again it's all about the squirrel and the mushroom uh, here we go so slowly starting to soften and that's all i wanted to achieve here now all i'm going to do add a little bit of flour to absorb some of the butter and the mushroom juices on quite a bit because i want quite a thick paste so I'm going to coat all of my mushrooms and just turn down the heat as low as I can go. I don't want to burn this flour but again I don't want the whole dish to taste the flour. So I'm just going to try and cook it out a tiny little bit. That'll do. 
By adding a little bit at a time, you'll avoid clumping and you should avoid lumps. You can now add your marinade. Um, I have a little bit of Madeira behind me. A little bit of masala. These would have come out of your two hour marination of the squirrel at the beginning of the piece. And as you can see, it's slowly absorbed into the flour and it's getting nice and thick. So these seasoned mushrooms now have a nice light boozy sweetness to them. And we're now gonna add the stock. A bit at a time, incorporate it into the sauce and hopefully you'll observe that we don't have any lumps but again, we've got this lovely, thick, wallpaper pasty affair. Finish your sauce, put it out into a container, a different fresh clean container, big enough to contain both the sauce and the picked meat, and put that into the fridge. Once it's cold enough, you can then incorporate the cold squirrel meat and the cold sauce together and gently combine them. Okay. So, six more or less equal, so in half, half, there again, and there again. Right, so remember for 11s we're not after a huge ginsters type affair, but what we do want is enough to give us a little warmth in our bellies if it's cold, and that just keeps us going for the next couple of drives before lunch. So just roll these into balls, they will then be rolled out into the shapes you need. Flour our boards. Okay. Now, there we go. So all we're after, about three to four millimeters or an eighth of an inch or a quarter, actually make it more a quarter of an inch thick. If you make these too thin, they are liable to split uh, and you don't really want to split your pasty. So, I then take a, a pastry ring, but if you have a bowl or any other round object, a, a side plate or something you'd like to cut around just to give yourself a nice neat finish, so be it. Quick egg wash, just a bit of butter, a tiny bit of milk, and a splat of salt. This we just use to seal our edges and to glaze the pasty at the end. We only need a tiny amount on the edge. So just a wee bit here. You're trying to get as tight a seal as you possibly can because you don't want it to leak out. Um, and then to avoid expansion later, we'll just put a tiny hole in the top um, just to allow some of the hot gases to escape and that'll stop it splitting hopefully. And our finished mix, we then place that slap bang in the center. One spoonful's enough. Don't be tempted to overfill it. If you overfill it, you're very likely to end up splitting the, uh, the pasty and then just force the filling to the back of the pastry like this try and get all of the air out so evacuate then just a little bit more egg wash here and now we're going to go for the crimp and then it's just over and under so push with your thumb over with the index push with your thumb over with the index and so on and so forth that gives us a smart little finish it also as long as you're pinching at the end here it means that we've sealed our filling in we're just going to pop these into the oven for 20 to 25 minutes depends on your oven uh, mine are old and quite temperamental so i'll keep it i'll have a little look after 15. just pop them in there and away we go um, okay so we've had our pasties in for about 20 to 25 minutes with a nice color on them nothing's run out which is fantastic so there we have it that's our squirrel pasty for elevenses from our kitchen to yours it's an idea of what you can do we wish you all a fantastic shooting season